Whenever someone starts to get really serious about planning and thinking about retirement, the first place they often start looking at is their TSP. And in different places they can save money and put money away so they can be prepared for retirement, right? And often, the TSP has, of course, a ton of great advantages, but people start looking, okay, what other options can I have? And maybe, you know, you're close to your the end of your career, you're making good money. You say, hey, I wanna actually invest more money. What about an IRA? What about a Roth IRA? Can I use those as well? And today, we're gonna talk about when you can and when you can't use a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA at the same time as your TSP. And each of these different accounts have has pros and pro and cons and really some great advantages. And it's just up to you to figure out, okay, which accounts can I use based on my situation and which make the most sense to get you where you wanna go in retirement. So we're gonna dive right in. And again, this is one of those where if you're on the podcast, I'm gonna be sharing some charts um, about income and things like that that it's really nice to be able to see. So you're definitely, you know, um, you can definitely look these up later, or you can go check out the um, the YouTube channel where I'm going to be sharing the charts live, um, or check out the article that I've written associated with this. So we're going to dive right in. So the first thing that we have to note here is that the TSP, no matter what your income is, no matter what your situation is, you can always always, always, always use the TSP. There's no limits there. The only limit is how much you can put in every year, right? And if you're under 50, that's 19,500. And if you're over 50, that's 26,000, at least for 2021, okay? In other years, it may increase over time, but that's the current limit for today. So the first thing we're gonna touch on is a traditional IRA. So the, the rules for when you can use a traditional IRA and when you can use a Roth, they're very different. So we're gonna touch on the traditional IRA first, okay? And again, just to give a, a quick background, the traditional IRA is the one where you put pre-tax money in and in retirement you have to pay taxes and a Roth IRA is where you put after tax money in and then in retirement you get it completely tax-free, which is a great advantage, okay? So traditional IRA. There are a couple things that you have to think about when trying to use a traditional IRA as well as your TSP. There's, there's really two things that they take into account. First, if you or your spouse are covered with a plan in their job, so for you, your TSP as a federal employee, right, and your income, okay? So for you, as someone that is covered um, under a plan with your job, then you can always put money into a traditional IRA. You always can, but the one thing they do limit is how much money you can deduct from your taxes. Because as you know, just like the traditional TSP, when you put money in to a traditional IRA, you actually can reduce your taxes, right? But what the government is saying is, hey, if you're covered by the TSP in your job, then, and if you, you have earnings over certain limits, then you can't deduct the full amount or you can't deduct it at all, right? Basically, that's what they limit. And again, on the YouTube channel, I'm gonna share here as a quick example. If you are married filing jointly and you make more than $125,000, then you as the federal, federal employee cannot deduct any of your traditional IRA contributions. But again, you can put money into a traditional IRA if you want, no matter what your income is, right? You just can't deduct that on your taxes. So by putting money in that, it's not gonna lower your taxes, right? But again, if you make less than these limits, then you certainly can, and you can get that deduction on your taxes, which can be a great, great thing to do, okay? So that's one thing to think think about. So if you want the specific numbers, definitely check out the YouTube channel and uh, find find the right video or find the article on my website. Um, or you could just Google. If you just Google traditional IRA, um, you know, deduction, income limit, something to that effect, you're gonna find the charts pretty darn quick. Okay, so that, that's the first thing. And these, these limits are for you. And actually, the limits for your spouse are a little different. I know. I wish it was a little simpler, but this is kind of this is how it works, right? So if your spouse is working but not covered uh, covered under a plan themselves, then the limits are going to be actually a little higher for what they can put into a traditional IRA and still get the tax deduction, right? So again, if you're married filing jointly, then that's about two hundred and eight thousand dollars, and as long as you make below that, and this is modified adjusted gross income, is that what they're looking at? As long as you make less than that, then you can deduct at least a piece of it depending on your income, okay? And so that again is for your spouse's traditional IRA, them putting money away if 
they have they're they're working but they don't have a 401k or a TSP some sort of plan like that at their job then they are they have those limits but let me make one thing really clear if for whatever reason someone's listening to this or maybe you know someone where both spouses are, don't have a qualified plan, whether you know a 401k, TSP, if, if neither spouses have anything like that, then you can, no matter what your income, you can always use a traditional IRA and deduct the full thing, right? So it's only for those that are involved with a TSP, 401k, 403b, those sort of plans with their job, that that is when these, these limits come into play. So hopefully that makes sense. And I know these concepts and these rules, they may be super new to you, so I'm sorry if this is super complicated, but definitely just read the article that I wrote a number of times or watch this video or listen to this podcast a number of times. It'll become more and more clear the more times you hear it. It'll become a lot more familiar, familiar to you over time. So that is really how a traditional IRA works. If you are considering using a traditional IRA while you're still working and using that and the TSP, then if your income is relatively low, the odds of you being able to use it and get the full deduction is, is high. But as your income, income, of course, increases, you can always put money in the traditional IRA, but again, you may not be able to deduct it on your taxes, right? So that is the traditional side. Now let's talk about the Roth IRA. And when you, when you can use a Roth IRA and be working and using and saving into your TSP at the same time. So the good news is the Roth IRA rules, they're a lot simpler, which is great. That's the good news, okay? The bad news is if you make over certain limits, right, then you can't use or you can't put money directly into a Roth IRA at all, right? With a traditional IRA, you could always put money in. You can't get a tax deduction. With a Roth IRA, if you make over certain limits, you can't put money into it at all. Okay, that's kind of how it works. Well, I guess you can. You can do a backdoor Roth IRA. That you know, that's a the topic for a whole other conversation. But directly, you can't put contribute money straight into a Roth IRA. So let's talk about what those limits are. So when it comes to a Roth IRA, it doesn't matter at all actually whether you're covered under your a plan at work or not, or your spouse is. That doesn't matter at all. All that matters with a Roth IRA is income. That's all that matters. They look at, they call it your modified adjusted gross income. It's a version of your income and you could look on your tax return and you can find your adjusted gross income, which is very similar and close to your modified adjusted gross income with a few exceptions. Okay. So again, let's do another quick example here. If you're married filing jointly and if you make more than $208,000, between your spouse, right, in modified adjusted gross income, then you can no longer invest directly into a Roth IRA, right? That's basically how the work, the the um, the rules work. But again, I am only telling you the limits for the married filing jointly. So if you are, let's say, married filing separately, or you know you're single, then definitely check out the rules for you. Because again, I don't like giving too many numbers here over over video or podcast, um, just because I know it can, it can get hard to. Um, to kind of wrap your head around just hearing it. So definitely check out um, the article to see the charts yourself so you know for you what those limits are at. Maybe look at your past tax returns of, okay, where was I at last year? Do I think my income's gonna be about the same? Can I use a traditional and Roth IRA this year? And if you can, that's awesome. Because honestly, using more accounts and saving more and investing can be a great way to really put your retirement planning into overdrive. And I've done tons of other videos on Roth IRAs, on you know moving your TSP over to a traditional IRA. There's tons of great reasons to have IRAs now and later. I'm not gonna dig into that super deep here. Today, I just wanted to focus on when you can, while you're working, still put money into an IRA or a Roth IRA. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know, put in the comments below. And uh, I hope, again, that this content is allowing you to be more comfortable and confident in your retirement plan so you know what things you need to do and when so that you can be prepared and just be confident in your life. So again, I hope this was helpful. Have an incredible rest of your day and I'll see you next time.